I videotape loads of Garda Patrol and Crime Line and Crime Stoppers. Then I try to join this Garda <coughs> Reserve, as I said, you have to do. But I got a dreadful virus. <coughs> I think it was called the, the Blue Flu. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to the songs of Status Quo. Do you know Status Quo? Because I'm one of their biggest fans. <laughs> and their songs seemed to speak to me and to say, William Finbar, take the law into your own hands. So I did. I broke into my Auntie Bridie shade. Bridie has got mad for this poor walking racket. Enough that I and, and I stole her biggest and brightest yellow and luminous jacket. That's the show. <laughs> Bridie, you have yellow come on my brother, um, Michal Feely. <laughs> no? Well, Michal is our posh man. And I took a fine pea cap out of his own posh. The Esh Devan. <laughs> And then I took my mother's hair dryer. You can see where this is going, lads. <laughs> <laughs> and I cycled away out to where the road is wide and straight. Oh, the Carragher hands right there. Me cycling. <laughs> and I hid behind the first bush. <laughs> I didn't come on the way. <laughs> Till my first. Now, for our European visitors, I'm going to give you an official Garda term. Yeah. Bucko. <laughs> Till my first bucko came flying on. He must have been doing 60 or maybe higher. But well, I jumped out from behind the first bush and I pointed with man's hair dryer. <laughs> You'd want to see him slam on the brakes <laughs> with a look of fear upon his face. Oh yes, Garda William Feely has solved his first ever speeding case. But now, I can't stop my speed checks. Because of the power and the thrill I get. Though my mammy is flipping raging because her hair is always wet. <laughs> <laughs> so the next time, the next time now the GC a Garda speed check, you gotta ask yourself a question, punk. Is it a Garda really? <laughs> or is it your very own Detective Sergeant? Yeah. Inspector? Willie Feely. <laughs> <laughs>